My worst day, well, look, it has to be Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. Oh, it really please. does have to be. Yes. And like, I hate it. I hate it for the Cowboys. So here's, mm -hmm. so Dak Prescott, 23 of 37. Almost identical numbers right there from a completion standpoint as Joe Burrow, right? Who we just led the show talking about. Difference, Dak throws a touchdown, but two interceptions. Even that can be overcome. I've seen Tom Brady throw two interceptions in a playoff game before, but what happens when the ball's in his hand late at the end of the game and he has an opportunity to win the football game? You go strike. You go get it done. You win. You shake off a, a mediocre performance because you won the football game. It seems like Dak is going to turn the football over at these key times, just like you were talking about, Jake. And the reason I do hate it for Cowboys fans is because they have a guy who is clearly talented enough to get the job done. The, that game last week against the Bucs, I know it's not a great Bucs team, but it is a team that beat them earlier in the season. Mm -hmm. The two-minute drive that he led, uh, led right before halftime was absolute perfection. He clearly has the skill set, and he has the mental capacity to bounce back from bad starts early. He can throw 20 completions in a row, which is unbelievable. For the Cowboys, you understand it can always get worse at quarterback, mm -hmm. and you don't want to be dysfunctional at the position because it's a lot better to make it to the playoffs and lose with a guy than it is to do whatever the Texans are doing right now. Having said that, you want to win Super Bowls, mm -hmm. and I don't know if they have the guy to do it. You know, Dak Prescott to me is the uh, like the the bridesmaid that's never the bride. They're just always the bridesmaid. Fun, good sense of humor. You know, it, it just I will say what I said last week. There, you're never going to win a Super Bowl with Dak. You're never going to do it. Okay, I watched him get Mississippi State all the way to number one, number two in the country and then not be able to finish it. All I've watched this guy do, his whole career is not finish big games. Not finish them. You're never gonna win a Super Bowl with him. It just, it is what it is. Okay, he should have thrown four. Should have been four interceptions. Okay, he should, almost threw one on, I think the first or second pass of the game, and then at the end, should have thrown a pick six to Greenlaw. You got all the pieces. The defense played their guts out in this game. They gave them every opportunity. Brock Purdy didn't uh, throw for a touchdown or run for a touchdown. Hell, Christian McCaffrey scored one late. You held the Niners to one touchdown and lost because Dak Prescott, when it comes down to it, how many times did he miss CeeDee Lamb? How many times do you see him miss Michael Gallup in the post in, in a big play in the game? And, and Dak, great human being, and he's not a bad quarterback. That is not what I'm saying. But if you want to win a Super Bowl, Dak Prescott is not your guy. He just got outdueled by a rookie quarterback playing in his eighth game, and the Niners weren't able to run the ball. The Cowboys weren't able to run the ball, and the Niners weren't able to run the ball. And who was the quarterback that made the errors that cost him? It wasn't the young kid. It wasn't the kid who was drafted last overall. It was Dak Prescott. Some guys just can't win it. And it's it's... And I hate to say that, but it's the truth. Facts don't care about your feelings. Dak Prescott will almost get there his whole career. And to me, it's almost worse going, making it this far and then losing as opposed to not even making it. Hmm. How many times? How many times? And look, Jerry will keep him, come out, said he was disappointed. Dak's going to say all the right things. But at the end of the day, the difference in Joe Burrow and Dak Prescott is when that moment is big, Joe goes and grabs it. And when the moment is big for Dak, he throws it to the other team. I don't know another way to put it. He had his chance. He, had, he was in the pocket. The offensive line gave him time. Uh, you get sacked one time. You get sacked one time. This is on Dak Prescott. It's time, Cowboys fans out there. It's time to realize you have a bridesmaid who will never be the bride or the groomsmen that'll never be the groom. It's 2023. You know, people think they're robots now anyways. But look, Dak is Dak. I'm sorry. This is like that show on ABC. This is us. <laughs> this is us. Mandy Moore, this is us. Yeah. You're not wrong. Hey, YouTube, do us a favor. If you like the content you're seeing, and we really hope you do, and even if you hate it, we hope you do this as well. Go ahead and subscribe. Turn that notification bell button on and hit likes when our video pops up. And if you turn that bell on, you will get constant updates on when we're dropping content, which is like every day, because nobody's gonna outgrind us.